Well, hello, and welcome to yet another episode of The Backstage Shop. Pretty sweet ride for partying, crashing, the occasional autograph session. But how does it fare going cross country? Today we're going to find out. Today we're going international and partying with the band The Trues from Canada. Let's check them out. We're at the Route 20 Outhouse in Racine, Wisconsin, located in between Milwaukee and Chicago. The kitchen is slammed with the fish fry special today, a Wisconsin favorite. I caught up with new owner Ray Steibach, who's undertaking a massive redesign of his establishment and wants to not only provide great food, but also an entertaining atmosphere as well. Two things that really strike people as a passion is music and food. So you get those two things together, I think it's a win combination. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome The Trues. In 1998, brothers Colin and John Angus McDonald formed a rock band in Nova Scotia with cousin Sean Dalton and longtime friend Jack Sipperet. In 2002, they won a radio station contest and caught the ear of Gordy Johnson, the legendary guitarist of Toronto's Big Sugar. A year later, The Trues signed their first record deal, moved to Toronto, and toured mercilessly throughout the provinces, playing over 400 shows and opening for such groups as Bruce Springsteen, Robert Plant, and KISS. These guys have been around for a really long time and are slowly working their way into the States. Literally! From the beaches of Lake Ontario, it's a straight shot from Toronto to the Motor City and the U.S. border. From there, it's a leisurely stroll through the states of Michigan, Indiana, and Illinois before finally parking the bus outside of the Route 20 outhouse here in Wisconsin. So, how long have you guys been playing together? We've been this lineup for, I guess, just over 10 years. Like really? 2001, about thereabouts, we hit the road as the Trues, and it's been going ever since. But we all been playing music since even before that, you know? Right. Mid, mid, mid to late 90s, we all started picking up guitars and jamming. Oh. So how did you guys come up with the name The Trues? We, when we were in high school, we had a band called One-Eyed Trouser. And it was so like a, a joke. <laughs> and then when we started playing, we just kept the name. And and when we started playing bars, we were just One-Eyed Trouser. And then we just shortened it to Trouser. And we were about to release an EP, and then some other band from Mississauga had the name before us. And they sent us like a cease and desist letter, like talking about like two completely unknown bands, like threatening to take each other to court over a lousy name anyway. But no way. Yeah, they, they made a big deal about it. So we had like a night to change it. And I think Jack's mom called us and said, you should call your band The Trues because um, it's like a Scottish word that means trouser. In the Scottish tradition, trues were actually a form of trouser that replaced the kilt when it was too cold during the Highland winters. Huh, could this be the precursor to the hockey stocking? A good home cooked meal on the road is like salvation. I mean, like you eat on the road, you just, it's so hard to eat well, you know? And yeah. Like, Sometimes like we'll show up in a city where we have relatives or old friends and they'll cook a meal for us and it's like the best thing in the world. Even today is that like where our hotel is located, there's no there's nowhere to eat. There's nowhere like you can't walk anywhere and eat and find something normal. Like when you come off a tour you usually feel like garbage. After a month because you just ate a like, month's worth of crap. You don't like nuts, you know, or Skittles. <laughs> You're in big, big trouble right now. Hey guys, thanks so much for coming out. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to the meal. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, I hope it's I hope it's good. Just I hope it's good too, man, because we gotta play a show afterwards. Wait, did he just say before the show? After talking with them more, I started to get some ideas based on where they grew up in Nova Scotia. Located just east off the shores of Maine, Nova Scotia's home to such greats as NHL Phenom Sidney Crosby, professional wrestler Rocky Johnson, Sarah McLaughlin, and Donaire. Donaire. What's Donaire, you ask? It's the local version of the Greek classic, the Euro Sandwich. But instead of the traditional tzatziki sauce, they use a sweet sauce called Donaire, which is made out of sugar, vinegar, and condensed milk. This stuff is awesome. I get into the kitchen and I grab my ingredients, start my prep. I've got a really tasty menu for these guys. I just hope I've got enough time to get everything done. Get around with it. All right, let's 
Let's go grill up that flatbread. We'll leave that there. Okay, the chipino, oh my god. How long do I have? All right, fellas, just so you know what we do have here is a grilled flatbread pizza dough. Yeah. Um, and on top of it is a uh, little bit of a uh, donut air sauce, a little uh, Nova Scotian treat for you. Greens on top, goat cheese, braised lamb, a little red onion, cucumber, and tomato to freshen it up for you. Okay, guys? All right, enjoy. Yeah. I'm doing a pizza style. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's really good. Is the dough here sauce like in the crust or something? Okay. Yeah, pretty good job. Great. <laughs> this is great. Good stuff. All right, guys, so what we have going on here is we do have a saffron rice with a chipino, which is basically like a seafood tomato broth with a little shrimp, some mussels, some scallops, and some clams, and to top it off, some fresh asparagus and a little bit of lime juice. We all grew up out east eating shrimps and mussels and all this stuff, so nice to get a flavor of home out here in the Midwest. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I know, after a while, I just don't say anything. Just like... A bit of a, like, like a jambalaya Cajun slight vibe to it as well. Yeah, no, it's really good food tonight. It's really good, yeah. We're going to say thank you to Chef Paul for feeding us so well. On thank show you, Chef Day. Paul. Amazing job. Never had a meal like that before on the road, I don't think. I don't think I've ever had we a good never meal ever this, on the road. never eat this good on show day. This um, will be uh, one for the books. Yeah, it's one for the books. Delish. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. rock and roll. Wow, these guys blew my mind, blew my eardrums out a little bit too. Well, it turns out there's two things I love from Canada now, the bacon and the trues. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Where's my ride? Hello? Anybody? Somebody! I need a ride! I need a ride! <laughs> Well, hello, and welcome. Wow, I just got caught. Oh, it's so good. It's so good, guys. Saffron? Saffron.
And I would yeah. just like to thank him for giving us a delicious meal and for curing my diarrhea. Y esto cantado la música. Y ahora que duró, también te gusta. Sí o no. Sí. Señor Jack, por favor, cantado para. Well, help. I just ripped my shirt. I'm just... Thanks, Paul Chef. Nice. Thanks, Paul Chef. Thanks, Chef Paul, for curing Sean's diarrhea. <laughs> Hey man, can I get some toilet paper? Anyone? <laughs>